not self intersecting. Because I know I happen to know that the following is true. Uh, claim every non self intersecting polygon has a interior diagonal. Has an interior diagonal. And the proof goes. Oh, okay, let's see if I actually know how to prove this. So pick the shoot. How does the proof go? I know this is true, but I don't remember how I show it. Do I look at the shortest length? Frick, how do you prove this? <laughs> uh, take the take any angle. I think this is cases. Okay, what we're gonna do is if convex, okay. If it's convex, you don't care at all. If there is an angle greater than 180 degrees, an interior angle. Look at the shortest. The closest vertex <laughs> oh, this is really hard to uh, so it's like if there's an angle angle that's more than 180 it should be possible right that I can get Shortest might not be actually correct, but I think you can get at least So you take the reflex angle, you look at all the... Damn. How does this go? Let me just say that this theorem is not important. What if you triangulate the hexagon? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like if you can... Triangulate it. The only way it doesn't work is if you you have uh, the only triangulation is like Uh, wait a minute What if I just do something stupid like this ninja star
Does that... Can you dissect that at all? No, you can just bisect it, right? Draw the... No, that doesn't work. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I want is to block the... I need to block the three major diagonals. Like, if, it, if you call it ABCDEF, I need like A, D, B, E, and C, F to each go outside. Right now they're all contained inside, but... Barely. Okay, let me try this. Um, Twisted something like that. I have no idea whether that's the correct proportions, but <laughs> let me name these points. So this is a polygon, I guess, and where I've rigged it so that the three major diagonals are all not usable. <laughs> this seems good, yeah. Yeah, that, okay, so I do think this theorem is a pretty good motivation because a priori is not even clear that every polygon has a triangulation. If you do know that though, then the only way it fails is if the only triangulation is, you know, does not... Well, the triangulation will have four triangles. Extend a short side. Ooh, eh? Extend a short side. I don't follow. Extend one of the shorter sides. Oh. 
Oh, I see. That will also give you a... Hmm, okay. I thought I... Can you break? I guess you can. Yeah, it's not like... No, that feels weird to me, actually. <laughs> Okay, that's weird. It's like somehow you had a hexagon and you didn't use the vertices to make the cuts. Pass this through the vertex, it might work. Yeah. Okay. So, anyone, let's, let's redo this picture. work I think I screwed up something this doesn't look symmetric is, is it not symmetric I thought I had a symmetric construction no it is symmetric okay whatever All right, so now this should, I think this does it. Because if I try to draw, if I draw like that, that's a. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think this should work. I don't know how interested I am in writing down the proof because it seems like it's just you analyze the cases. Oh, ignore, ignore the proof thing. Yeah, th this proof doesn't... This proof... I didn't manage to finish this proof. Is it not relevant to the... I, I was trying to prove it at first, and then I decided I didn't want to go that route anymore. So I just ignore it. Yeah, but the main idea is to do this thing. This hexagon, I think, can be dissected. And I assume what you do is K-squares based on... ...whether... I don't know. I don't know if I want to do the cases. Yay, not a zero problem stream. Yeah, I was really about to throw in the towel. I don't know. Oh, okay, let's put this in into the database. This will be easy to write up as well. Uh, this is episode 92. This is like the third problem that we tried.
Is this the only construction? Are there others? Because I actually wouldn't be surprised if it turns out this is the only way you can construct it. It seems like you have quite a bit of freedom. 